All right, behind me is our Charleston model. That's right, you're excited too. He's so excited. Right. This is our Charleston model. Give me about 11 minutes of your time right here and let's walk around our Charleston model. It's 10, <laughs> he's excited. It's 10, it's 10 by 30. Wow. What are you doing chewing on me, buddy? Stop, I'm gonna bust you in the nose. <laughs> no, you will not. All right, what I love, you guys, there's so much I wanna just take it in. So this is our new model and it talks. Oh, wow. I'm just, you know what? I'm tongue tied here. I gotta, I gotta calm down. Okay. I'm like Ace. Yeah. I need to jump around and twist. Right. Randy, Randy. <laughs> He's losing it. I want to eat something. What are you doing? I want to chew what on something. What are you something. doing? Give me that. Get, give me that. <laughs> give me that. <laughs> Your face. I know it. We're excited about the Charleston, everybody. All right. I'm going to, you guys can see what's going on. I don't need to tell you about all this, but let me just describe to you the difference in this model versus all the homes that we built in the past. Yes. You can see the large overhangs that we have here. It's about a 30 inch overhang. Then also you can see these brackets. We call them corbel brackets. Look over there, Amanda. Yes. We put that bell, I call it a bell housing light, the old light style in the middle. And right up above there is an air exchanger that takes out the air inside, brings it out, okay? Also, in the gable is the red board and batten. Board and batten is a vertical siding, and it's surrounded by a white trim triangle. We call that a freeze board, mm -hmm. okay, when it goes up in the angle like that. Angle is a dormer, or I mean not dormer, but a gable. But all those color variations, when you have the natural polyurethane soffit, which is the overhang, right? Then you got the white freeze board, the white board on the bottom, surrounded you know surrounding the red board and batten and then the trim this is all lp very low maintenance siding 30-year warranty oh yeah it's so <clears throat> it's just cocked this is a home it's beautiful this is a home of homes right here so what i've done <clears throat> is i wanted to create a home a tiny home that looked like a big house yeah this will fit in the back any beautiful home in the country, right? This can fill a subdivision of tiny homes. This is a home that when you put it in a, a, uh, a tiny home community, yes. or you form a tiny home, tiny home community, this is what's gonna make the authorities, like the code inspectors and the politicians and all this, they're gonna say, wow. They're gonna wanna accept it. They're gonna wanna accept it, yes, Amanda. They really are. It is so pleasing to the eye, when they talk about curb appeal, yes. this is a tiny home with curb appeal. It's, it's not a park model. No, all right? it's not. This is only 300 square feet. Wow. All right? It's not it's a park so model. Beautiful. Park models are still, they still look like mobile homes. They do. They're boxy, they're square. And there's, they're not mobile. There's one right behind you, and we're not going to show, but this is another one mm -hmm. right behind you that we're doing. But you have the faux rafters that are right underneath the gutter board. The gutter board now is eight inch gutter board, not a six inch. So you see wow. more trim going across here. You still got one of the same lights that matches the gable over here by your front door. You yes. got outside plugs on both sides of the house. Oh, look at this in with this big picture window. Yeah, I mean, come on. Oh, goodness, this is not guys. a gorgeous, gorgeous home. All right. What size again? 10 by 30. And this is the Charleston. And this is the Charleston. We sold a lot of Charlestons. Yeah. I oh, love this. this, this my whole goodness. Look. And it continues on into the inside of the house. This is so beautiful. And if you can look down this, I like looking down this whole wall. And... When I'm thinking about when I created this design and I created this, I wanted colors, right? Mm -hmm. And then I wanted textures. That's why I wanted that corbel and I wanted the big freeze boards and the trim. I wanted the faux rafters. And then up there's the brackets and then the board and batten and a different color board and batten that distinguishes the dormer and the gable from the rest of the house. And two, I want to mention, you know, we've told you that uh, the Amish, our Amish partnership is doing these homes. Yeah. Uh, Joseph, Mr. Joseph did this home. Our guys did this. Jo yeah. Joseph from the backyard. Joseph, who yeah. is uh, Randy's best beginning. friend, Foster, and this is his son and Foster. I mean, uh, 
Joseph built this one. He sure did. Yeah, yeah. and he did a beautiful job. Joseph is, an, is a great builder. He is a massive eye to detail. Yeah. And he's super prideful of what he does. Um, I would like to share uh, one thing that I'm just seeing just as I'm not a builder, uh, never mm -hmm. have been. And, and I just see that this overhang, there's also an overhang there. On the, super impressive. On the dormer. Yes, that looks so, so flipping good. Most builders do not want to add yes. that overhang on the dormer. Yes. That overhang oh, my. not only looks beautiful because it's big and it's sweeping and yes. you got the corbel brackets on there is that it also protects the house yes all right so no rain water anything is going to get up underneath there it's going to have to be a force what a different wind blowing up underneath i there. would not have noticed the difference of that look um, at right out just right up oh at it. look at that isn't that cool and then you know we got the water spigot here these this model home has got everything everything now we're actually coming out with a a, not a new, it's the same thing, but we're going to be adding some amazing amenities to these homes oh. in the time, in the future coming up, you know, coming forward here. We've been talking about it. That's our next video. Probably next week we'll be talking about what these model homes, we're going to throw some really cool stuff on the interior, right? We've been doing a lot of talking. We've been a lot of talking, a lot, a lot of, of talking. thinking. But I am just so proud of oh. this design that we can bring it to you guys. This is model home number two because the Dalton left. We just want to mention that our video that we put out the other day already has 213,000 views yeah, on the 10 by 20 I Dalton. I don't understand that. Unbelievable. This is the 10 by 30 model home, the yes, Charleston. Charleston. And oh my gosh, Let's guys. go inside, Amanda. Let's do. Come on. All right. Come on in here. Here. You got me. I think I. All right. I'm good. Oh, yeah. Oh. Let me look around here. Oh my good! Wow, I hadn't been in here. This is cool. Yes. So Joseph turned all the lights on for us. He, he got did. it all cleaned up. Nice and clean. Super proud of what he's done here. Let me point out a few things. This is the way the model comes. It comes with painted walls. Love it. Natural trim around all the windows. Mm -hmm. Of course, a natural ceiling. So we're still bringing in that wood feel inside these homes. And then we do that. We lo I love, you know what? I've always loved white walls because it makes yes. it feel so much bigger in here. Mm -hmm. Picture window. This is a five foot by four foot, beautiful picture window. Still enough to put a sofa in the front of it. Two 3040 windows on each side that you can raise up for single hung. And I'll just show you guys when they come up, they tilt out, right, for cleaning. Yeah. Put them back, down. Love them. All right. So. This is a living room. This living room is over 110 square feet. Man. Let me back up here into the kitchen look and show this. you. Yeah. So look, if I'm, I mean, you have a full size sofa on this wall, full size sofa on this wall. Absolutely. Or a full size sofa on this wall. Oh so my. in my mind, I'm thinking if I wanted a sofa here, I could actually put me a little fireplace here. Yes. You know, like a little electric stove mm -hmm. fireplace or something. Put my TV up above it. I could actually have me a dining room table here. You can. Right off my kitchen. Mm -hmm. Or an up to, a, a taller kind of a table. Kind of like a high up. top kind of table. If, if yeah. you remember the video we did with the Hobbits last Friday. Yes. I they absolutely had love how they one. had a table right there with two tall Folded stools. Folded underneath it. Yeah, Look very nice. Perfect. Very nice. Yep. So this is the living room. Wow. Amanda showed you the kitchen there a little bit earlier. I don't want to spend a lot of time, but we have a cooktop, range hood, microwave like we normally did. Beautiful counter. Look at this. I love this butcher block. And before yes. we said we didn't finish this because this is the only thing that maybe people want to stain urethane, on their, their tongue oil, yes, whatever they want. Whatever to do they here. want. Super quick job. It's yes. kind of fun to do. That's why we left it just the way it is. Yes. Again, natural trim around all the windows. Mm -hmm. Ceilings. This is a loft up top here. I Big love loft. the, the sinks are so great. These are standard. They're so standard. This comes with this model. It's a you know, made up. There you go, farm style sink, and this is a special cabinet. Here, open that back up. Sink. I never get yep. to catch it when you open it. It's there always go. gone. There we go. Yeah, this got some plumbing. Nice and, and stuff. clean. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Before we go into the bedroom. While we're here, let's just go into the bathroom, all right? Yeah. 
So this is the barn door. Let me let me try to get that. Okay, there's the barn door. Wow. Oh, it doesn't have the toilet yet, but that's okay. Wow. And you get you get the sink. Beautiful sink. Yep. Of course, toilet, 32 inch shower. Mm-hmm. That'll be a standard toilet, of course. Yeah. Yep. All wood. We left, we left all the wood natural inside the bathroom. Very nice and clean in here. Gorgeous. I love it. Yep. Okay. Right. And then let's Let go show into the, the outside of this. So on a 30 that. footer, on a 30 footer, you going to stay in there, Amanda? <laughs> I'm ready to go. Okay. All right. On a so there's footer, more to this house. On a 30-footer, you have a full bedroom down. Okay. Let's see what we got. Ta-da. Ta this is not cool. Look at this. A bedroom. A full bedroom on this 30-footer. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> Three windows up here. And wait till you get here and you look up there. But let me point out a couple things okay. as you come in. We made this the washer and dryer here. It's okay. in the bedroom. The reason is, is because you can put a full stackable washer and dryer in here, mm -hmm. right? And, and you can't get to it in the bathroom because you have the toilet right behind you. Right. So we put the washer and dryer stackable in here. Perfect. Over here, you have a closet. Yes. Is this not cool? So you get the closet too. Look at that. Water heater. Oh, water there. heater is hidden. Yes. Beautiful. Love it. Closet up above. Now, can I show the top? Because that yeah. is a sight to Isn't see. That, that is look beautiful. at this. And then look up here. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Looking all the way through there. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. This, now this house was designed, Amanda, for two people. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> we left that open for the air from the mini split to yes. blow all the way in here because you can feel the air conditioning is all the way in yes. here and there. Yeah. I designed this thinking because of the price, because of the size, because of how it's laid out, is probably somebody's just gonna have grandkids or somebody to stay the night or yes, the next tomorrow of course. or something, right? <clears throat> if you wanted to block that off, of course you could put you curtains, could. you could do something you wanted to. You could to. put a decorative, some type of <clears throat> grapevine, you could put something really pretty yeah. through that, whatever you want. So this is a home, if you really wanted to, you know, have that as a full bedroom, you could do that. This is a bedroom here, mm -hmm. great for rental, because you got a bedroom, yes. bedroom, and you could have a sleeper sofa in the living room. So this oh my really can sleep six people with no problems. Wow, and there's the air exchanger right up there. Yeah, and there's your yeah. air exchanger. That, takes out the air inside the room and brings in fresh. Oh, I'm ready to go upstairs. Isn't this awesome? Yes, it's beautiful. Plenty of room to walk through here. This doesn't feel like a tiny house. Oh my gosh, and this is a 10 <clears throat> by 30. So, <clears throat> I always point out in our videos that our staircases, I love our staircases because in a lot, most tiny homes, the staircases, people just try to make these tall rises. Yes. And they're, they're you know, you go up, it's almost like a ladder. But coming down is the hard part because you got such a long stride, mm -hmm. right? So we try to make every one of our staircases at a seven and a half inch rise. Which is a normal rise, correct? Any home that you go in the country okay. that's a, a regular size home. Mm -hmm. You want me to go? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. We're being so professional, man. We're so professional. I'm just excited about all this. This man. looks beautiful. Yep. Wow, so, and look, look at this, uh, the white on this side and the wood over here. Love it. Beautiful, love yep. the contrast. And so, Joseph, you can see the, the beautiful wood yes. up here for the loft. Normally this is just gonna be a big king-size mattress right up here. Mm -hmm. It's bigger than a king-size mattress. Yes. Two egress windows, smoke alarm. Mm -hmm. And a sprinkler. And a sprinkler head. Mm -hmm. I see that, right there's the every single sprinkler head right there. Yep. But you can see. And I don't know of any other company that puts a sprinkler head in here. I think, yeah, I honestly think we're the only ones. Yeah. So then you look down into the bedroom. Yeah. And you look over there into the living room. Beautiful. Now, is this just me or have the egress windows become bigger? They're different. We have. It's a different size? They're we had some come in that were a little bit bigger. Uh, they used to, they were about 28 
by 42. They were more square. These are more rectangle than I, okay. I like these better. So what's happening is, is because we're adding all this trim on the outside, okay. we had to do some re-engineering of our I sizes see. of our studs and dormers and all that. So our egress windows have changed size too. I was wondering, because I saw one today and I was like, wait a second, that looks bigger. You know, and I'm glad you pointed that out, but you know, when we were talking about doing a different design, mm -hmm. well, when I did this, there was so much. When you start adding, believe it or not, when you add a one by eight fascia board and you add the faux rafters outside, that brings everything down. And if you don't watch, it'll all been inside the window. Mm, I see. We're still doing just a little bit more tweaking mm -hmm. on the design and the height of these, <coughs> the height Excuse of the me. walls. Mm -hmm. So if you go up with the walls, then your roof line kind of squats. Okay. I liked it. Mm -hmm. Because the big freeze boards. Yes. If we go outside, I'll show you the, the roof is not as steep anymore. It's a little bit more squatty, mm -hmm. but the walls have went up, right? Yeah. And I love the whole look. I like because it's making it look massive. Yes. It's making it look squatty on the ground. Yeah. And it's got all this texture and feel. And it it doesn't have to look like a lot of tiny homes look like these big, huge, tall boxes. Yes. Which is fine. That's a modern look. I didn't want that modern look. I wanted it to look Yeah, like you didn't want the modern home. look for these. You want these to look traditional yeah. home and you thought of uh uh, the California homes with all the architecture and, and all the dental mold and yeah. the, the dental things that look so cute. It looks like a carpenter really building it. It does. Yeah. I hope you guys like this video. This is a Charleston or like the model. This is a Charleston. Go to our website. You yes. look at the floor plan. You look at our prices, our amenities. I'd get on it now because I'm about to throw some more stuff on this house. It's going to yep. be amazing. A few more amenities inside. I think this is really going to help out too. Yep. But guys, go to the Charleston. Go to the Birmingham. Now, tomorrow we've got another one right over here. I that don't know if it's going to be ready. we got another model that we're going to show. So this is our model line, our new model line. We've sold probably about 40 or 50 of these. Not this particular style, but we got all these different models. I think we've got seven different styles here right now. And I'm going to have to snap some pictures. I'm going to have to steal pictures from the one that already left from the video. Yeah. So we'll try to get those, get, I'll try to get some pictures for that or at least link the video to the website. We'll tell Sam to do that. Yep. And I'll get some pictures of this. It probably won't be decorated. I'm not sure when this is leaving, mm -hmm. but all the homes that we sold, all the model homes that we sold, all the Birmingham's, all right. the Charleston's, all the Dalton's, all these model homes that we sold, was just by your sketch alone. That's right. By your sketch we alone. We did not have a model. No model. To show the world. No pictures. What this was gonna look like. No video. And people trusted us. Yes. With b bringing this to yes, them. Absolutely. And fulfilling what we said we would do. And this is it. This is it everybody. We're so excited. I, I'm amazed by that whole business plan. I am too. This is awesome. I Thanks. just love we it. We could go on and on. I, I just, not, you know, we don't get to talk or see these things until we come in here because we're so busy doing so many other things. But when you come in here and you get to see what the guys have built, especially yes. Joseph, I've known Joseph since, since he, was he was born. Before he was born. Before he was born. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, he's family and just to see yeah. his skill and his talent and him coming to do this. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. Have a great day. Hey, subscribe, thumbs up, give us your comment, tell us what you think. And share the video. Share the video if you can. We need your help. We need to sell more homes. We got 70 employees and we got to keep them all going. We got, listen, we should say we got 70 kids and we need to feed yeah, them all. So I got need, 70 kids I got to feed they around They need coat here. and shoes for the winter. So. <laughs> all right. All right. Have a great night. Bye. Bye.